Okay, list. Get the super expensive, just get like the preparation H cream. Um, hey guys, how are we doing today? I am not well today, but we're gonna do this tonight, and Danny's gonna give us some background music that's really beautiful. Hi guys, how's everybody doing? Do you need anything from the store? This is your thing. Jeez. <clears throat> hey guys. TC, what's up? I just realized. Both of your boyfriends are here. They're my bromances, not boyfriends. No, we're not going exclusively. Romances. Uh, Hello. Okay. 
Okay. Um. Oh, you had a bad memory. Come back, Joseph. I'm sorry. Is it church music on the uke? Homo sapiens asked. Is it church music on the uke? No. No. I mean, he can play like some Christmas songs that are hymns. Um. Oh, is there? Is there? Is that the question? I think he's. I think they were asking if you are. Was I playing church music? Yeah. No. No. But he can. He can. I mean, just use it. You can play it on whatever instrument you want. Can Danny play any ska music? That's from X. Doesn't Secret ska usually like involve like a trumpet? Chaotix X. What? Doesn't ska usually involve like a trumpet and stuff? Uh, ukulele. Oh no, I haven't listened to it since high school to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Same Tiffany. I think we're all having a rough day. And this, I was just telling Danny, like, the, this vlogmas was a total bust on my part. But I'm not the only one. <laughs> There's a lot of people on the internet that are like, you know? Just not feeling it. So I'll just keep going live, guys. And connecting with you that way. You're welcome. Um, okay, can you sing that song while I think of what else I need from the store? Or talk to them? Yes, I did, Dana. There you are. We've been waiting for you. I did get your ornament. It's upstairs on the tree. Thank you so much. It's so cute. Did you make it yourself? Yeah, I showed the live yes. Oh, did I not go live on here? Where did I go live yesterday? Oh, maybe it was Instagram. But yes, I got it. Thank you. I love it. Maybe if we ask really nicely, nicely Danny will go get it. Only if we ask real nice. Like this. Watch. Ready? Danny? Danny? Hmm? Danny? Good day, Danny. My body is broken. Broken. Um, I love it. It's so freaking cute. You did make it. It's so cool. I don't understand how people do that. I guess I've never tried those things, but like, I, it blows my mind every time I see one. And this one is very good. Like, this one is very, I feel like, more intricate than other animal ones that I've seen. It's so good. I love it, Dana. Hers is the reindeer. Okay. Oh, I guess he was with me. He knows. And I picked him up. Oh, that's cool, Shauna. Blue talk. with this. Isn't that so cool? It's made out of like the rubber bands and it's just so freaking cute. I love the red nose. That's my favorite part. Isn't that adorable? I love it so much. To Shani from Dana. Is it Dana or Dana? I think it's Dana. Tori says, I'm grateful for the music. Me too. This is a constant in our home. We'll just randomly, if he's if he's not doing anything else, we'll just pick up one of his ukuleles and yeah. I hope you like what I got you for Christmas. I'm sure we'll like whatever you got me. Because you know your tradition now. And my tradition. Did you remember my tradition? You did? <laughs> right now. <laughs> Look, I'm going out tomorrow. <laughs> Everybody, every year Danny buys me a new snow globe. And every year for the past five years, I've gotten him a new ukulele. So I think you're really going to like this one. Yeah. Get a snow globe. It's never too late to start one. So, 
Yeah, so all my snow globes in the house. I have 15, 16, 15 of them? I don't know. A lot. Susan said, I've been watching you since I was 16 and dying from multiple eating disorders. I'll be 20 in a few days, recovered, and have loved following your journey as I've, oh, where'd you go? As I've had my own. You helped me through it all. I That's love that, sweet. Susan. Thanks for saying that. And I'm very proud of you. That's incredible. You're my hero. Look at you. That's awesome. What do you mean you were dying? Can you share more with us about that? Because people need to hear what can happen. So what, what do you mean you almost died or you were dying? Pot pies are so good. Danny doesn't like pot pies. Danny doesn't like anything. Are you good with soup again or tonight? Oh, for tonight? Um, are you over the soup? What do you want to do? It's good. I'll just find some of this too. I can go in. Okay. I should probably go soon. Um, Shauna said, I'm not a fan of the Popeyes, but maybe because the ones I've had are pretty bland. Honestly, the Marie Callender frozen chicken pot pie is bomb, in my opinion. And it's very flavorful. I always, always, always put extra salt on everything, especially microwave food. I always put extra salt. And with that, I don't feel like I need it, so. Your cat is high right now. Is, oh. is that up for your list? I think so. Okay. Hold on, I want to read this though. Okay, Susan said, I was making myself throw up several times a day for several years. On top of that, I have another type of eating disorder called ARFID. Oh, you do? <gasps> Which has caused me to be very malnourished since I was young. Oh, okay, Arf ARFID, what was that one? ARFID. Remind me what that is. Educate me, because I don't remember what that is. But look at you, you freaking rock star. Jeez. I want something. your list so I can see their comments better. Let me put it on your list. Sweets. I need my phone for my for the comments. Oh. Sorry. That's so cute. Um you're beautiful. Thanks girl. Arfred is restrictive restrictive food restricted food intake to so anorexia? Oh, avoidant, hold on. Avoidant restrictive food intake disorder. Avoidant restrictive? So isn't that just anorexia? If you avoid food and restrict food, isn't that anorexia? Hmm. I really should know this, but I don't think I do. Um, so I'm going to ask Danny a question for a second, real quick, while I finish this list so he can go to the store. Hi, Art Life. I am doing okay. How are you doing? Okay, ask Danny specifically a question.
Pusey said, Danny, are you really an angel? I won't tell anybody. <clears throat> you don't hide from me. I already know. So what's the difference? It's like anorexia, but it differs because it had another to do with my body appearance. It had nothing to do with my body appearance. Um, it is basically where my mind doesn't register food is being edible. Oh, so I physically can't eat it. That's, I don't think I've ever heard of that before. I'm sure I have, have but I have a horrible memory. Wow, that's interesting. So it's not like you were starving yourself to lose weight. It's like you couldn't eat because food just doesn't sound appealing to you, basically. Is that what you're saying? Wow, that's rough. I'm so sorry. Anyone else have a question for Danny? That's crazy. Well, I'm really proud of you. That's, it sounds like you've come a long way and that is just, just incredible. <laughs> hey, Nairi. <laughs> Casually playing and whistling creep. <laughs> That's what he does. I just woke up from a nap. I can't see right now. <clears throat> did you first start playing the ukulele? Started back in the old house. Fun, Irie. How long have you been here? Three, four years? Four, yeah, <laughs> five years, I guess. Three, no. Three, Six? Three. Three and a half. No, here. Three and a half. Yeah, okay. So, and then plus two years or a little bit oh. in the old house. That's when I started. Mm -hmm. So I, I call it five years, I guess, something like that. Guys, help me pick out a treat. What's your favorite treat? Ready, go. That's interesting. Jesse said, I think I suffered from that. After my daughter was born, she thought of, uh, the thought of food grossed me out for six months. But then when I started to get my appetite back, I, I chose to start my purge. Aw. We are so mean to our bodies. It's unreal. Not like... You did develop bulimia, Susan. Yeah. Donuts. What else? Maybe brownies, chocolate, applesauce, Reese's Pieces, apple crisp. Keep going. This is healthy. Um, Michael Ranch Street, those are good. Churros, I wish. Where do you get churros? Where you should go? Just go get us some scones at breakfast. Uh, they're closed. Are you sure? Yeah. They might have holiday hours. Cinnamon rolls, chocolate almonds. I'm glad you like them. <laughs> um, if they're milk chocolate, then I might like them. Um, that's true. LOL one high two said, you have to delete this live stream or everyone knows that Danny is an angel. You shouldn't have told them. I didn't. We discussed this. Where do you get churros from? Besides Costco and Disneyland. Cinnamon rolls. Keep going. This is helping chocolate ice cream. Hmm. Maybe some Rocky Road. Um, sushi. Ugh. Shut up, Shauna. 
You are grounded. You're such a dick. <laughs> mushrooms, mushrooms, all the mushrooms. Oh, I hate you. I love you so much. I know Jack in the Box has many turtles, but we don't have Jack in the Box. Uh, we discovered those when we went to Disneyland a few years ago. Yeah. Oh my good. gosh, they were so good. Cause they were filled with stuff too. Don't they have like cream in the middle or something? Some of them do, yeah. So we've been desperately wanting a Jack in the Box here. The closest one is about, how far is Nephi? Two hours? Almost two. About two hours away. So you've never been grounded, Shauna, where you are now. Want Rocky Road? That's a good view. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What else? Name more treats for me. What do you want to? What do you want to do? For dinner or just Cinnamon treats? Cinnamon powder donuts. Hmm. At Maverick. What else? Fried Oreos are so good, but they made me so sick when I tried it that I don't think I can ever eat it again. That's how sick it made me feel. But they taste incredible. Yeah, Paul, totally agree. But yeah, there's a line going around the freaking block. Their burgers are good. No, they're not. In my opinion. Absolutely not. The fries suck, but the burgers they are all, amazing. They all suck. Deep fried pumpkin pie? What are you talking about? That's not a thing. That's not a thing. Fry? Can you deep fry a pie? I, mean, I don't I guess know. You can are you trolling, anything. Sanjana? Chocolate lava cake is so good. Oh. But what's something you could just pick up at the store? What else? Keep going. You're doing good. Keep going. Any more ideas? Get your favorite flavor toaster strudel and put your favorite ice cream on it. It's amazing. We actually have a lot of toaster strudels. That would be good with an apple one. Why don't we ever try that? Warm it up and put some vanilla ice cream. That would be good. Uh, Aiko, Aiko, Aiko says, I am two weeks purge free. That's incredible. Yay. I'm so happy for you and I'm so proud of you. Mm. Patty LaBelle peach cobbler. Is it like a frozen? What else? Keep going. This is helping. Baked dog poop. Yeah, that sounds good. I had that last week though. Um, you had it at a fair? It's a real thing. Fried pumpkin pie is a real thing. So did they bread it and then fry it? You just warm it up. Hmm. Okay, keep going. I thought we could pull your hair way back right now. Or halfway up, I mean. stuff more than the top stuff. I know. Scotch cookies. I think I'll do that. Why don't you get some Rocky Road just in case, though? For a movie morning. No? I don't care. Whatever you want. What are you going to do? Just find something at the store for tonight? Yeah. That's it. Okay. We need to make 
sweater gift boxes that are like, you know what I mean, thicker? Probably. You can find two of them if you want. Just oh. get a two pack. Yeah, sure, yeah. Right, <coughs> Crepes, ooh, that would be good too. Cookies and cream pancakes. Ooh, cookies and cream ice cream sounds good. What do you want? Rock room or Christmas tree? Uh, both. Sure? Yeah. Do you have room for that? Hmm? Do you have room for that? Yeah. Do you need this? I need room. It's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Sugar brand looks like it has the most cookies in it. If you know what I'm saying. Cheddar? Cookies. Whatever brand has the most cookies oh, in yeah, it. Oh, yeah, copy that. Copy that. Yeah. Yep, copy that. Okay, anyway. Okay. Um, Danny needs his own music channel. I agree. He's so talented. I have been wrapping galores. All of these gifts. There's more over there, too. Are for our families. So I am a really crazy rapper. Um, when I give my when I give gifts to my niece and nephews, I make it very special. So we've got one, two, three, four gifts in one. And then I put like this one is fun. I put like chocolate bars around the square gift, make a pretty bow, tie it all together. And that's what I do with my niece and nephews because I like to spoil them, but I also, like, I just want to give it to them all in one, you know? Um, this is another cute one that turned out really cute. See, we put four gifts in one and just tie them together. It's so cuteness. And this one is very interesting. This one was hard to figure out how to tie together, but I did. So there's like a big old coloring book, and then this, 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 and then, and then I put their favorite candy on each one as well. Um, this is probably my favorite, just it looks like stairs, it looks like a mountain or something. Not fun. Anyway, so I've been doing that. I need to eat something. Oh, Paul, you want to see yours? Where is it? I just had it. Oh, it's right there. Right there. The green and white one tied together with the red bow. That's yours. What do you want to run by me? What's happening? I was honestly thinking of uploading all of Danny's speeches to a channel. Go for it. Whatever you want to do, girl. Um, that's cute. You can do it, Lini. I have to knit a blanket, sew something on top of another blanket, make a hat, and make, make a scarf in six days. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. I just know it with all my soul, all the way to my butthole, that you will be able to pull this through and then have that. Yes, I will pray for you. Everyone pray for Lini. You can do this, girl. You got this. You're a rock star. And you're very talented. Okay, so how long have I been live? Believe it or not, 
I'm not going to stay too long. I mean, I, I always say that and then I do, but like maybe 20 more minutes, maybe we'll see. Just cause I've got lots to do. Christmas is in six days and our Christmas with Danny's family is on Sunday. So I've got to have all of their gifts ready to go. But anyway, does anybody have a question or a woe or a song request or a game request? What do you guys want to do? You can tell me your woes. We can play a game. We can sing a song. We can um, just answer normal questions, fun questions, Christmassy questions. What do you guys want? Do you have a favorite TV show? You know? Okay. Whenever people ask me favorites questions, I always get really, really like anxious because I can't choose because I love so many things. But with the TV, I think I've at least narrowed it down to three. <laughs> so does that count? I think my number one is Lost. I think that's my favorite show, my favorite TV show of all time. But before it came out, it was like Friends and I Love Lucy and stuff, but then once Lost came out and I got addicted to it, I was like, oh, this is the best show in the world. I love Lost. And it's so good that I save it and I get excited because I start watching it every single Christmas day night. So Friday night, I get to start Lost. I'm so excited. It's kind of like my own little Christmas tradition and it takes me through the gloominess and depression of January and February by by putting my favorite show there. You should try it sometime. Save whatever your favorite show is the entire year, get excited for it, and then on Christmas day, night, you can start watching it, and then it'll hopefully take you through a rough time. So that's what I like to do. Um, work a pay, work a pee, can I talk to you in private? Um, sadly, no, at least not right now. I actually used to talk to a lot of people in private that I've met online, but I stopped doing that um, unless they're like family or something, but you're welcome to message me or you're welcome to ask anyone here to message you. You can like tell us what you're going through and I'm sure there's somebody here that would be um, more than happy to message you and you know what I mean? Sister, sis, sister, sister. Sister, sister, I got an own flow. I do my own thing. And else. I forgot what it was. Dun, 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 I got to do what's right for you. Sister, sister, didn't know how much I miss her. Sister, sister, got to sound, 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 got to That's how it goes, right, Ted? Um, the Golden Girls, thank you for being a friend. And Reba, I don't know that one. Boy meets world. And it's boy meets world. Boy meets world. Tell us us what's I don't know the words. Sister, sister, yep. A lot of you like sister, sister the most. That's such a good show. I love, I'm a huge fan of Tia and Tamara. And they did a, they did like a reality show a few years ago. Maybe 10 years ago, I don't know. I'm so sad that it ended. It was really cool because I'm seriously a huge fan of them. I love Sister Sister. I love Twitches. is my favorite, one of my, probably my second favorite Halloween movie. And then I also love like Christmas movies that they're in and stuff. Um, but yeah, they did a reality TV show and it shocked me because their characters typically are that like, Tia is like the more serious, kind of calm, you know, sister. And Tamara is kind of more crazy and and um, ditzy and just kind of like whatever type thing and like bright and bubbly. But in real life, they're the opposite. Tia is the one that's like super bright and bubbly and just like, ah! and Tamara is more like serious about life and, you know, more a little bit more. I don't know. I just think that's really cool. But I love, I love them both so much. Oh my gosh, I would love to meet them. That would be amazing. 
Oh yeah, I love their singing voices too. Have you watched Tiffany, um, um, The Mistletones? It was filmed in my town. And the place that she works in the movie, Danny and I used to work there together. So you should go check it out. It's really good, Tiff. You would love that if you haven't seen it. And I'm pretty sure it's on demand. Have you ever met a celebrity that's from Organically Whole? Yes, I have. I have met a few. I have met the Ballinger family. I have met um, Stuart Edge. I've met uh, the girl that was on America's Got Talent, the blonde girl, what was her name? I met her, I met the Shea Tards and kind of hung out with them. They're incredible. They're very, very strong people who've been through a lot and she's a rock star. Um, I've met some famous people you wouldn't know unless you're in my church. Like I've met some apostles. Um, who am I missing? I feel like I'm missing somebody. I don't know. I can't remember who else. I love the Ballingers too. They're my favorite. Um, I'm sure I've met more because I've also been to CDX Live and oh look. <gasps> t-shirt reference. What up t-shirt reference? Ha <laughs> ha. What was I saying? Um, uh, Maya said, what are your thoughts on natural medicine? What do you mean? Like vitamins or, I think it's great. I'm a fan of any medicine. Um, if, do I have Hulu? I don't have Hulu. But Tiffany, if you can find it, it's called The Mistletones. I don't know if you have DirecTV. I know it's on DirecTV on demand. Look for it on Hulu. Look for it on whatever you have. It's so good if you would love it. Full of Christmas music. It's so fun. And there's like a love story, of course, and it's really funny. There's a lot of cute, clean comedy. It's just really cute. What was I saying? What were we talking about? Oh, the natural stuff. What do you mean by that? I just, I think that whatever works best for you and your body, it, I'm all for. I'm like that with natural medicines, with uh, prescription medicines, whatever you feel or you and your doctor feel is best for you, go for it. I think that, um, yeah, sure. I think it's wonderful if it works for you. Do you like cucumber soup? That's not a thing. What are you talking about? Cucumber soup? Yeah, a wet salad, is that what it is? I love cucumbers. Is it cold? Is it like a, what do they call those? I forget what they call them. Is it like a cold soup? It's totally a thing. What? I need to try it. What is it? Where? It's not a cold soup? It's a warm soup? Is it a warm soup? A warm cucumber soup? Oh, Alicia. I think I did get yours. Which one was yours? Tell me which one yours was. It's a warm soup, warm wet salad. It's cold. Okay, you guys are saying many different things. Is it cold or is it warm? The smell of cucumber is such a good smell. I agree with you. Strawberry soup? What are you guys talking? You guys are just making stuff up now. Are you guys are you guys all trying to trick me? Uh had you said package yet? Nope, not yet from you. Top three favorite YouTubers, and can you sing Hark the Herald? Yes, I can. Top three YouTubers, favorite YouTubers. Colleen is number one, by far. Um, well, besides my friends, I need to make it clear. Tiffany and and uh, and uh, um, oh my.
my gosh, Donnie and Tommy and um, I feel like I'm sure I'm leaving somebody out right now, but like besides the people I actually know, know Colleen for sure. And then Colleen and then Colleen, just kidding. So Colleen, Rachel and the Ballingers, honestly, if I'm being honest, but they're the only ones I watch religiously. So yeah, I think it's fair to say that. I don't know. Uh, I don't think where where are you, Alicia? Where did you go? I lost you now. I feel like I did open yours, Alicia, but maybe not. Um, was it an ornament? And if you don't want to tell, was there anything else in it? Mine should have come in an Etsy package from Etsy seller called Slice Laser Studio MT. I asked for them to write my name on the ornament, but I don't think they did. Huh. Let me go and get all my ornaments and ask if any of them are you, because I can't remember. If it came longer than like a week ago, I probably won't remember whose is whose, you know? Um... I did open Alicia's. Oh, see, Tiffany knows. Which one was it, Tiff? I'm gonna go get them all anyway, so I can show them off to you anyway. I'll be right back. Body isn't okay. Hang on, I'm gonna grab a drink and I'll show them. But yes, Leisha, yours is here. I remember now. So we've got okay so um okay so
so this is from Felicity from when she came to Utah to meet me at my meet and greet. Um, and that was, I think, 2017, 2016. Paula, are you here? What year was that? I think it was 2017. Maybe not. I don't know. But anyway, she wrote me this and I've hung it on my normal Christmas tree ever since she gave it to me. And this year I was like, I'm going to hang out with a shiny penny tree because she's a shiny penny. So there's that. Uh, I'm going to go in order that I received them, sort of. Lauren sent this to me a while back, not for Christmas, but for something else. And because it looks like an ornament, I decided to use it as an ornament. Um, the first, I guess, official shiny penny ornament was from Steph. And it says, Christmas, the one where, the one where we were quarantined. And I love it because there's like masks on the zeros, super cute. And I love friends, so that's why she did it. Um, I don't remember who came next. Oh, and this was mine, my contribution this year. So I will also, I, I, I will be picking a new one every year from me. Was it 2017? Thank you, Tiff. Okay, and then it's from Alicia. I love this so much. Just pooping, you know how I be. It's so cute. I remember laughing so hard when I opened this now. It's so hard for me to remember like who gave what and what gave who and blah, blah, blah. But I love it so freaking much. Oh my gosh. Is that the funniest thing ever? This is like brilliance. Just pooping, just pooping. You know how I be. Mm -hmm. That's me all the time. Um, this is from Katie, cutie little pie. And she runs one of the fan pages on Instagram. I forget what hers is called. There's a couple Shanny Fanny fan pages, which is kind of weird. I'm because I don't consider myself that I have fans. Does that make sense? I don't know. But it's probably too difficult to be like followers page or like a supporters page. I don't know. That's not too hard to say. Anyway, this is from Katie. She sent me her school picture in this cute frame. Isn't that adorable? I love it. I might write 2020 right there. Just so that I can remember at least which year we got it, you know? So I might write it right there with a Sharpie. And then I forget her name again, but um, she sent me two of these light bulbs and they're incredible. This one says, you're beautiful, you're worth it, and I am too. And the other says, oh wait. Oh no, that's all. You're beautiful, you're worth it, and then I am too is on the back. It's filled with like sparkly, gorgeous uh, butterflies. Can you tell? I don't know. And then she gave me another one that um, is, she knows my soul, and it's lost. <laughs> ah! She even drew a little thing and she put the, the and she put the little 40, 15, 16, 23, 42, which is the cutest. Um, this is from Sweden. I forget her name again. But I actually recognize this because I grew up being best friends with my now step family. <laughs> but we were friends long before we became family. And I just remember their Christmas tree always had this because my, my stepdad, before he was my stepdad, would travel everywhere and he would bring home different ornaments. So this reminded me of a very happy childhood time because I was always happy when I went over the, to their house and hung out with them, so I adore this. I look cute, thanks, so you, boo. Um, this is from Zoe. She works on a horse ranch, what are those called? I don't know, I love it. I love all of these so much, so cute, right? I know, Paul's the cutest. Um, my neighbors, my some ladies from my church just gave me this one, so I decided to put it on there. They delivered it last night with like a little poinsettia. It was so, so sweet. Um, this is from my sister sent us this with her Christmas card, my sister Julie. And I'm going to put it on. And it's just 2020. I don't know if you can tell, that's a roll of toilet paper. It's really cute. And she just like wrote our names on there. Isn't that cute? I might also write 2020 on that. So, and then this one that we already saw. So that's pretty cool, guys. I, I, I mean, 
And it's never too late to send them. And by the way, you don't have to send them around Christmas time. You can send them any time of the year. We'll just collect them and put them on the tree later. But so how many ornaments did we did we end up with? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen ornaments. That's really cool. Thank you to everyone who sent one. And to those that didn't, don't worry. I'll be here for years. You can just whenever you if you want to, you can. If you don't ever want to, that's okay too. Oh, it does say twenty. <laughs> Yes, it does say 2020. <laughs> oh, ding dong. <laughs> Which is dead. Oh. I'm really smart, guys. <sighs> it's so cool. So if you ever want to send one during the year, send them. I'll collect and see how many we can get for next year. I'm so excited. And I'll put a new one every single single year. I will pick out a new one from myself that I think either represents me or the community or I don't know, whatever. It can be anything. Oh, you got the same one, Paul? Nice. That's so cute. Oh, I didn't even notice the hand sand. Oh, I didn't even notice. Wait a minute. Hold on. I didn't notice all this stuff. Oh, I didn't notice, first of all, that they were wearing masks. I didn't notice. I just figured they were little Santas with beards. And then look at the little bottle. Bottle. You can't see it, but it says hand sanitizer on it. I didn't even realize that before. Wow. That's so cute. That's incredible. Christmas is wonderful. It's the most wonderful time of the year with the kids jingle belling and everyone telling you be of good cheer it's the most wonderful time of the year 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 um yeah, the Santas have masks on. That's so cute. <laughs> I need to wrap too, Daphne, as you know. Yeah, Heidi, I'm so sorry. I feel you, girl. I hate to say it, but I know how it is to be in a lot of pain. I'm not able to move without almost throwing up. I'm so sorry, honey. Let's see here. The rectangle, remind me what that is. The one that you knitted. Didn't you knit the little, um, again, I'm so bad at remembering who gave me what. Didn't you knit the little rug thing with like, you gave me something with it. Was that you? Maybe that was somebody else. I don't know. I don't remember. I'm the worst. Random fact, I got invited into a poly polyamorous relationship recently. Well, congratulations. Did you take the invitation? What did you say? What did they say? I didn't find any ribbon. I went to the store where they didn't have any. I found a tiny bit in my storage, but a lot of it is the thin shoestring ribbon, not the right kind. <laughs> Jesse, wow, well, I think that's a compliment, right? <laughs> it says Shani and Danny. Okay, I'll go look for it. I, I still can't remember. What does it look like? What is it? You did knit the little mat thing, and then you gave us something with it. Was it a necklace? Oh, I can't remember. I'd love to send you an ornament. Is there anything you like, Exam example, animals, etc.? Thanks, Amanda, that's sweet. You can send me whatever you want. It doesn't have to be something I like. It can be something that represents you, like this one from Zoe. 
because she works with horses, and so it kind of represents her. Um, you know, and this one is from Sweden. It represents their country. So it doesn't have to do that, but I just like, I like anything. I love, I'm, anything that Jojo Siwa would like, I love. I love rainbows and sparkles and butterflies and just, I just love color. I love a lot of color, so. And I also just love birds and cats. Birds and cats are my favorite animals. Um, uh, uh, excuse me. The rosary, that's what it's called. Okay, yes, I will look for that and I'll hang it on the tree because that's a great idea. That's a really good idea. Love that. Okay. Um, and I'm sure in the past people have sent me stuff, but in the move, I misplaced I had a whole box full of gifts that people had sent me in cards and I'm pretty sure people have sent me little ornaments before and I can't find them and I'm really bummed about it. Kitty birds, yes. Do it, Tiff. I would love a rainbow poop ornament. Are you kidding? I can only find a regular poop. What? When are they gonna make, when are they gonna make a rainbow poop anything? Why? Is it so popular that there's a rainbow poop and yet there's no rainbow poop emoji yet? That's blasphemy. So good luck trying to find one too. Anyway. Uh, I hate you, Sean Arsha. You can send me a mushroom ornament as long as I don't have to eat it. That would be funny actually if you did, that would be hilarious. But if it's real, no. Blech. I hate you. <laughs> um, um, thank you, where do I send it? Amanda, you can send it to my PO box, which is, it's posted everywhere, but it's PO box number 1088-1088, Pleasant Grove. Two words, Utah, eight four zero six two. I hate you too. Um, Caitlin said, I get people are different about things, but multiple relationships in in that way. I am not looking for all of that, especially knowing it takes work, keeping it strong. I think being in love with one is enough, and that's awesome that that works for you. Yeah, that's how I am too. I'm good with one and. But I also don't judge anyone who wants to, you know, how do I do that? Paul, you need to come over and reteach me some things. And if I hired you, would you be in charge of monetizing my videos? Because I can't figure out how to do it. I've tried. I even tried what you showed me and I can't figure it out. And I know it stresses me out. So. Maybe I'll pay you and you can be in charge of that. We'll split the profit. Because I've never cared because like I'm not doing this for money at all. But um but I do put a lot of time and energy and yeah. It wouldn't hurt. And I know most of you wouldn't mind watching a little 15 second ad. So I don't know. But I I'm not gonna be one of those people that puts like 10 10 um, ads on one video. I couldn't do that. Thanks, Amanda. Yeah. I think maybe I would do two at the most. I don't know. Maybe we'll just see how it goes. Um, and if Paul can't do it, I might hire one of you. I'm not kidding. They might already have to watch ads if they don't have a paid account. Oh, oh, is that why some of my videos have ads? But how come I can watch it? Do I not have a, you have to have a, there's a paid account? I didn't pay for my account, did I? I don't know anything. Thanks, Jess, you're sweet. You pay for yours? Do I pay for mine? 
Yes, I make like $18 a month, guys. I'm rich. Oh, YouTube Premium. Oh, yeah. That's, I've always, did you sign me, did you help me sign up for it or something? Because I don't ever remember signing up, but there are some videos that I can watch all the way through, even though I can see like, you know, eight orange ads on the thingy, you know, but, but they don't pop up for me. And then other videos, they do pop up. So I don't know what I've got going on, but $9 a month. Oh, you get YouTube music. We need, we need to go back. I need to go back to school, Paul. I need to go back to technology school. So can you come teach me? Be my teacher. Teach me the ways of it all. Did you even see you? Those presents are, Kelly said, those presents are so nicely wrapped in the background. My mom's a great wrapper too. Thank you. I love wrapping. It's my favorite thing to do in the world is wrapping gifts. Yeah, and I've seen ads on some of mine too, D, which is weird, right? I don't know. But then there will be other videos like sometimes I'll watch like Amberlynn Reed's video and you can see on the time thing that it has like 10 ads on it, but I don't see any of them sometimes. And then sometimes I only see like two. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Nine dildos a month. <laughs> I wonder if it's because I say words that lately I've noticed in people's videos, they bleep out. They won't say the R word the abusive R word. They won't say that. They won't say a lot of things. They won't even say COVID right now. And they won't say, like, is this a thing that I don't know about that you're going to get demonetized? Or if you talk about rape or, um, or COVID or there's all kinds of things. I just can't remember on the spot right now. They're censoring bad. What? If you shut your home screen off, you can still hear the video. Huh. Yeah, I might have to get that if I don't have it already. Um, I'm not doing great today, but I'm okay. Um, I'm in a lot of pain right now. Well, I was. It was worse a couple hours ago. Um, this is probably one of the worst winters I've had for fibromyalgia and years and years and years. Um, so Danny took me out yesterday, was it yesterday? Yeah. And we went to one store and I got out, he dropped me off. I got out in the snow, went in the store and it literally felt like every single um, bone in my body turned to like a frozen metal, you know, like just like a, like a sharp frozen, painful cold feeling do you know what I mean I mean that's what fibro does to you um and it's always worse in the winter for everybody who has it but for me this year has been way rough last year I don't remember it being this bad and I don't know the last time it was this bad so it affects me walking and then you add in the other stuff I've got going on I just it's a lot but I'm fine Oh, Dee Dee, yeah, they get so stiff. I couldn't walk. We went to the store for maybe 30 minutes and by the end of it, I couldn't even walk. Danny had to literally not carry me, but like one step at a time to, it took us like 10 minutes to get upstairs. Cause we had to go, cause my, my, my knees and were just like frozen. And then the hip thing that I have going on, oh, you guys, I forgot to show you what I got. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I forgot to show you. Um, so I bought myself a cane when my hips started getting really bad, but my sister, who's a physical therapist, or she was, she was like, no, you need to get this specific kind and it'll make you feel better. So I've already tried it. I love it. 
So let me show you what it is. And I have two of them. I'm sure you've seen these before. So it's these ones. And these are easier to kind of, it's, it's better if you've got like hip pain or lower pains, um, like knee pains, maybe not ankle, I don't know, but it's so good. And we've got a two pack. So we're gonna keep one in the car and keep one here just for when it acts up like that. Because it comes and goes. Anyway. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, Dee Dee. Do you have fibro? You should get tested if you haven't already. I think you do, maybe. I don't know. But it's awful in the winter, it's horrible. I love the winter, but it's painful. <laughs> but I still love it. You got diagnosed two years ago. Oh, where's your biggest pain spot? For me, the worst is in my thighs. For fibromyalgia, the worst is in my thighs. Is that weird? My thighs, my collarbone, and my lower back are my worst but my thighs are the first noticeable ones and everything else hurts too, but like thighs are like the most, you know what I mean? You too, and hips, yeah. Thighs and hips, yeah, me too. Wow, I have fibro, hip, hip, bursitis, the list goes on. What's hip bursitis? What that means? Your knees and shoulders, ah. Oh. So all the things that you need to move. <laughs> Poor thing. Oh, sucks that so many people struggle with it. It's rough. Remember like 45 minutes ago when I was like, hey, I'm gonna go in 30 minutes. Ah, <gasps> there you go, Tip. Hey Shani, you can use your cane to beat the snot out of COVID. Love that. I've had elbow bursitis. What is that word? Um, that was from Dana. I said 20 for what? I don't know. I don't remember what you're talking about. Um, hang on, I'm looking for, do you see a chiropractor? No, I don't. I think I need to, I'm gonna have to now because of this hip problem that I've developed. I have a feeling that it's either just a bad case of Ehlers-Danlos or it could just be, um, not just, it still sucks, but like it could just be a hereditary thing because my sister is going, my oldest sister Angela is going through something where she's shrinking so she used to be five, uh, she used to be five ten, she's five nine now. I used to be five seven. I'm five six now, and I just wonder if it's off balancing the hips or some, something because they both hurt on and off. But the worst is my left by far. Um, yeah, I'm terrified to get I the Ehlers Danlos test. I'm not scared of. We're gonna be getting that when we have our insurance, which should be really soon because Danny just signed up. But um, the table test for POTS though, I'm terrified to do that, but maybe I won't need to. Because if I have Ehlers-Danlos, um, oftentimes POTS kind of comes with it. Hi. Oh, you're freezing. Yeah. Yeah. Aw, your hands are ice. Sorry, honey. Hmm. My mom was shrinking. It's from osteoporosis. She stopped drinking soda and it went away. Oh. But see, I don't drink a lot of soda as I'm drinking soda. This is ginger ale because I feel sick. I really don't drink a lot of soda though. But yeah, my mom wants me to get tested for that. 
because I mean, bone problems run in my family. Everything runs in my family that I have, like IBS and fibro and endometriosis and what else runs in my family? Even like my kidney and bladder problems that runs in my family. What else? I don't know. What's that? Who's that from? BYUB. What is it? You got a gift from BYU? Yeah. <gasps> what is it? Let me see. It's an calendar. advent. Oh, I've been wanting an advent. Can I do it? <gasps> Danny got an advent calendar. Is it chocolate? How many days are on it? If there's 12, we can hurry and catch up. 24. 24? Okay. Should we open up this? Hang on, maybe this isn't. I don't know what this is. It is, I can tell. Because there's those little doors. There's not. They're not perforated. Oh, let me see. Oh, it is. Kombucha? Yeah, it is. Well, catch it up. Look how cute! From BYU TV. Alright, let's catch up. So we've got a lot to do. So what are we at today? Six days to Christmas. So we've got that one, that one, and the 18. rest of them. <laughs> okay, number 24. Wait, no, 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 no. What? You start at one, silly. Why? Because that's the first, and then you open okay. the 24. Okay, number one. <gasps> chocolate. Is it all chocolate? It says BYU TV. Help. Year, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I get an advent. I like advents. Okay, number two. That was BYU TV. This one is BYU radio. I have a feeling they're all gonna be exactly the same because they're all the same shape. The Are they gonna company. be all the same? They're all the same shape, they're just different decorations. This one has a snowflake on it. I should try these. Really cold. Another BYU TV. BYU radio. And then Snowflake. BYU TV. Right, BYU radio. Another Snowflake. <laughs> BYU TV. BYU Radio, BYU Snowflake. Who wants to guess what the next one is? BYU TV. What? Yeah. Oh, and then BYU Radio. That's cool. Wow. And a snowflake. Dang, I didn't see that coming. Um, BYU TV. BYU Radio. And a snowflake. Wow. There are pictures on the inside of them, though, right? Yeah, there's ads on the inside for movies. There's ads for, like, not Hallmark movies, but BYU. It's like 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, yeah. Christmas Tale. Just like Mom and Dad's Christmas special, 7 p.m. Mm. Eastern. Mm. <laughs> I like when you buy treats for yourself. Huh? I like when you buy treats for yourself. Yeah. Yeah, you deserve it. <sighs> okay. Yeah, it's all chocolate. It's all the same. Will you have me a little Ziploc? A little Ziploc? Sure. So I can save all these. Just like this now.
Butterbeer is really good. Okay, Danny's home, so we're gonna sing and then I'm gonna go. So, what do you guys want us to do together? You feel like singing? Uh, not really, but I can play. <coughs> when are we, we haven't done it yet this year. Huh? We haven't done it yet this year. And I'm trying to not. Why? Could be our both our voices. I mean, your voice is awesome. Mine sucks it's right now. It's all horribly and. It's tradition. We sing it every year. Yeah, I think we should start a new one. You, want to sing it every you don't have to if you don't. I'm happy to play something for you. Okay. Yes, this is my only live. White, for sure. Because there ain't no way I'm going to miss movie morning because it's been... Oh, not that. Are you serious? No, I'm just kidding. I will okay. smack you in the balls. Do you have something to do? No. Nope. I mean, I can, but I can do it later. Okay. There's all the chocolate. <laughs> BYU TV chocolate. Okay. What should we sing? What is this? More galaxy slime, I'm guessing? Yep. I'm going to do the last slime. Hey, did my thing come? But I don't know what you're talking about, so. Yeah. More galaxy slime. Like five of my niece and nephews want slime, so we bought a lot of slime this year. These are really cute. song then we're gonna peace out so what do we want y'all do you want like you can do have yourself a merry little christmas can't you mm -hmm. what else? here comes santa claus let me try that Have you tried this? I don't think so. Let me pull up the lyrics. Which one do you want? The Here Comes Santa. Right, but which, which, which? You? I don't know. I have to hear the key. It's going to start with the C. Okay, let's hear the one. Tiffany? Or Tiffany, which one is better for my voice? Or Tahiti. It's pretty close to this one. It's the same as that one. What's the other one? No, the big one. Just the regular one. Okay. You good? Yes. And a one, and a three, <laughs> and a two, and a boo, and a go. Lane, fixing and blitzing and all his reindeer pulling 
Santa Claus right down Santa Claus Lane. He's got a bag that's filled with toys for boys and girls again. Hear those sleigh bells jingle, jingle, oh, what a beautiful sight. So jump in bed and cover your head, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus. I have another one. Oh. Let's like maybe do it slow and then pick it up. Here comes Santa Claus. You know, like a dramatic. Here comes Santa Claus. Right down Santa Claus. Okay, what else? Let me do Hug Yourself. Are you making a pizza? Yeah. Which one do you want for this? I don't know, let me hear. We start with the G. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. All right. It's amazing. The tone of that with the song. Do you, you want think? me to do the other one? I don't know. Let me hear the other one. The big one? Or no. The standard. The standard. I think that's better for this song. Let's go. Right? Yeah. Uh, ooh, you should try picking it at some parts at least. Actually, maybe, okay, strum, strum for the verse and then um, the chorus. 
Peach is keeping it. So, so right once, here, again. once again, we'll be picking. Yeah. Give it a try. See what happens. Do I get an intro? Mm -hmm. Smoke coming from our oven. It's not a fire. It's just a, burning, something is burning, burning in there. Old something. <laughs> 
Well. Well. Set alarm 15 minutes from now. Your alarm is set for 22.58. That was one of my favorites growing up, Tiff. in the background for you. In light of re recent events, um, what's going on?
You're okay, Jess. I get it. It's okay. Yeah. Great. No, you don't normally do that. It takes a lot to get Jess upset like that, so. You know, yeah. I think just everyone try and remember that we're living in a time, oh, I love this cheesy background. It's like it's cheesy speech. Keep going, it's good. Remember at the time, in the time, where the times are incidents and things happen, that we not only apologize, but show our apology because an apology until proven true is just words. I truly hope that everyone out there is safe and healthy and happy. And if you're not, I really hope that every single one of you is at least trying. Because as soon as you stop trying, that's when the really bad things start to happen. And um, this is a very sensitive community. And it was very painful for me to hear it, to be honest with you triggered me and I don't get triggered and I didn't get to tell you this yet I told everyone else but not you I get really triggered um, because of um, something that happened to me as a kid with hamsters and so um, yeah, I had a mental breakdown last night and I'm sorry Jesse over this or something else this is such a hard thing to deal with I appreciate that you said you're sorry. Um, I really do. But you just gonna have to show it, boo. <laughs> you know? So, like, if one more, I mean, that already was your last chance, but like, we need you to go get actual help, okay? to explain it real quick? No. Oh, he knows what's going on. Well, I think it's unfair fair to those that don't know what's going on. They're going to feel excluded. An incident happened with one of the people, and it wasn't pleasant, and we had to ban said person from certain parts of the community. And now that said person is here right now. Yes. Saying and that we're asking, sorry. and that's great. That's awesome. And we're asking those people to go, go get some proper help. Yeah. Because that's very inappropriate behavior on any level. And in we don't any want to community. feed into it anymore. Yeah, and we don't want to feed into it anymore. So. So great, Jess. I love you guys. Blank, blank. I love you guys a lot, and I'm sorry so many of you are struggling right now. Jess, okay, she's just going through a lot. She said, um, over that and everything in life right now, Hayden and Shauna and her wife really helped me. I love you guys. We love you too. Jessie's got a lot going on in her life right now, and she's a rock star of a mom with, in a very hard situation. I have mad respect for her. Um, so confused, but love you all. I mean, Am I allowed to ask a question or would that? I wouldn't. I just want to know. I'm gonna bring it up. It's gonna I'm get just, messy. I just. I'm just saying. I would. I would well, stop right now and just be done with it. Gonna, it's gonna ruin your night, it's gonna ruin your night, you know how that works. Maybe, but I also need closure. You you gave him closure by banning said person from the parts of the community. That's the closure. I just Inappropriate behavior gets, <laughs> see ya. I just wanna know why. No, you don't. 
We don't why? know. We don't because we know why. Because it's all up here, and something's wrong or broken or okay. misled or mistrained, and and decisions were made, and actions and consequences have been. I love you too, Jess. Dealt out. I mean, that's how it is. You know, that's okay. true with anybody in any part of life. You don't have to dive into it, especially here on your your yeah. live stream. I'm in Maryland, but have some Southern in me. Love that. Um, no, I think we're okay. Uh, okay, well, I don't want to um, leave you like that. That's a sour note. So one more song? Okay. What should we do? We you do Baby It's Cold Out Tree? It's so hard all the times. No. You have such a pretty voice. No, not of me. all the times. The smoke is in my lungs. You always do. I love your voice. But it's smoky in my lungs. I can't see. Yes, I agree. I'm glad the ones who had to suffer through it has a good support system. I agree. Oh, we love you, Julia. Um, does anyone have a request that we could do? Have we ever I done know, this? he never wants to sing. Everyone wants you to sing. live? Do you mean post? Yeah, I'll leave it up. It's up to you, that's not me. Well, what would you say to that? I would say... <sighs> Just show it. Yeah. Like Daphne was saying earlier. Yeah. Actions speak louder than words. Yeah. Especially with this kind of thing. Yeah, like Molly, maybe... Daphne will do it. Ready, go. Oh, okay. Daphne will take care of it. Ready, go. not smile when you sing. That's so sweet, Amanda. Time, Molly. Everyone needs time. Hi, Ellen. How are you? I miss you. Is your hair red now? It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, Daphne's got it, guys. I'm handing over the reins to Daph. <laughs> I tend to let my emotions get in the way, so... And Daphne is emo emotional, but she's really good at just being logical and just being like, listen how it is so and I'm not good at that no it's your job now Daph hello you need a shanty Christmas album <laughs> thanks Kiana Oh yeah, we that have like done that. First song oh yeah, we've there. done. Oh yeah, we've done. So hell yeah, we're gonna do this. Okay. I forgot. Do you want to pick or strum? My pizza. I think pick would be pretty. <laughs> Good. 
it? <laughs> Maybe. Ah. I didn't mean I was giving a speech. Let Danny speak if need be. He doesn't want to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I never said that. Okay, Danny, speak. Huh? Speak. Speech, speech, to that speech, with a speech, speech or addressing speech, that? What's speech, going on? Speech. I don't know. Addressing that, I guess. Yes, everyone is still angry. Okay. If that's the see, She asked if everyone is still angry. Yes, yeah, everyone's still maybe not angry is the right word, but very upset and hurt. I mean this was just what, two, three days ago or whatever? So yeah. I mean any any wait, look. <laughs> I don't know how old you are. I don't know your circumstances. I don't know anything so about she's 14. Okay, you're 14. As a former 14 year old. Okay, as we all do. As we are. all have been or will be. As you do. As you do. A lot of learning. 14 year olds make some dumb ass mistakes. I made so many dumb ass mistakes as a 14 year old. I want to go back and punch me in the face saying, you're an idiot. Stop being stupid okay i'm not calling you stupid i'm not calling you an idiot i'm saying i was back then okay what you did he paused. Set, oh. everyone it's just a fair to people that don't know what's going on i don't want to we don't bring quickly it up look someone made a mistake and they shared their mistake with everybody and it was kind of a, a messed up mistake and now we're addressing it because she feels bad and sorry and we should address that too because that's also not fair to her. She's genuinely... Fine, someone else can say it then. Is genuinely... Uh, I feel bad for the people that don't even know what's going on. It's they not don't fair. They don't to know. There's no... That's what's... really annoying that we're talking about something where like 80% of the people I know. I just told them what's going then... on. So a member... We don't have to date, We don't have to make it all fresh again because that's how not everything fresh. Happens. I just was going to give one sentence of what happened. Do what you want. Well, I said I was in a psychotic episode. It wasn't on purpose, I promise. And that's understandable. Okay, go ahead. I'll be quiet then. Go ahead. Sorry. <clears throat> Ooh, Ellen, Danny, please never cut your hair. You look amazing. It's kind of cute, you isn't it? it? I love it when it's up in a bun. Did you see my Thanksgiving vlog? Go watch, Elle, if you haven't. So, Molly, psychotic episodes aside or not, um, I'm not saying that's any type of uh, excuse or cop out because if that's true, then again, that's something that needs some very special help. You're not going to get any type of psychiatric uh, help from this community. All we can offer is our support and love. And we did tell you this already, but. Yeah, and, and we, and yeah, obviously this has been brought, this is nothing new. Um, and so if, I mean, here, here's what, and I think really all of this matches up to, you know, what, what's, what's next, you know, I mean, if that's, if that's your level one or two or three of a, of a, of a psychotic episode, what's next? It's a scary thought. That's a very scary thought. The science is point to when you start hurting uh, things in that way and then sharing it, that's a very, 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 very concerning and scary road. Um, and that's why we say to people that come on here that, that share those experiences uh, in either a good way or an appropriate way like you did, um, we ask them to go search for some professional help because... Yeah. This just isn't the place for that level of of um, of someone in need. Like you're already at level ten, we're all kind of at level three or four or five kind of deal dealing with our stuff that we deal with here. Um, and it did hurt a lot of people's feelings, and it hurt a lot of people's psyche, and and that's that it triggered me. That's a big yeah, it's, deal. it's a big deal. I don't get um, triggered. It doesn't, it didn't trigger me, but it very concerned me. Like, whoa. Yeah, like when Shani told me the story, this. I'm like, whoa, that's very concerning. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want you to get all 
what, what you know, you bothered by this or whatever. I just want you to hear me and kind of take it in. Um, we here's the problem, not a problem. Here's the thing: when when we have, we've been doing this for a long time now, right? How much? How long we've we been doing this? Six years, seven years. Almost six. Five almost, and a half. almost five and a half almost five years. and a half years. Okay, we've kind of seen it all. All right. But that's not right. When did I start? Whenever we've been doing this a long time, we've kind of seen all the people know. come in and out of this community with their different things going on, and we can always just identify what's going to happen. And the best case scenario for you right now is to seriously give it time. You know, uh, join the live streams, but maybe don't comment. Join and listen, and and listen to everyone else's stories and see that. Don't chime in and just start trying to be all buddy buddy and everything like that because. That makes us think that, oh, she's not taking it seriously. Uh, uh, she thinks we're just going to forgive and forget. And that will happen eventually, but not like a week later. I mean, that was kind of a serious deal that you went through. And again, I just want you to take this in and really kind of internalize it to your personal stuff. Stay with us here. Okay. Okay. Um, internalize this and kind of, and just, and just take a step back and say, whoa. This was something that I did. I, I've, I've accepted it. I'm taking it. I'm taking that on. I have to figure out what's going on next because I don't want to take this any further and affect other people in bad ways, which you've done, which is sad. And I'm really sorry. I'm sorry if it was a psychotic episode. I'm sorry if it was a conscious choice. I'm sorry for it all, really. Yeah. And I'm sorry for all those who got hurt, too. Mm -hmm. It's not just about you. You've, you've kind of... Yeah, we feel sorry you know, for gotten, everyone involved, gotten including into the pool you. Later and, and soiled the soiled the water a little bit. Um, which again, why I'm going to keep going back to this. At your level, you should go and seek some major pro help. You know, get your parents involved, get whoever you need to involved, and figure that out because, girl, I'm telling you, that's a scary, scary, scary road to go down. Um, and if you're really only 14, oh yeah, I mean that. Your that, brain is still developing I mean, yeah, right that, now. Yeah, that really, and... that really gets me going because it's like, oh man, you. I mean, that's you. You see those kind of cases in like adults and stuff like that because they really lose it. But at your young age, <sighs> I want you to really internalize this and step back because you're at a very different level than the rest of us here. Um, so think about that for a little bit, okay? And let's all, all of us take a big deep breath real quick with me right now, okay? I want you to do it in through your nose and out through your mouth because we're gonna bring this in. And we're going to breathe it out. Bring okay. out the candles, guys. Yep, every, every, do it again with me real quick, ready? Do it again. You need, what you need to do, Molly, because clear, clearly your parents won't help you. You need to go to somebody else. You need to go to like school counselor or yeah, get, or yeah. like a church leader or whatever. Community and, leaders, they're all out there. And you can even call CPS for yourself. That's mm -hmm. a thing. You can. Totally. You can call and be like, I'm being abused at home. My parents aren't taking care of me. I need help. And... Yeah. Because the things that you say are just. Very concerning. Out of this world. And if they're true, what you're saying, you need help. And yeah. if they're not true and you lied about that, you need help. Yeah. Either. I mean, either so. way, it's, it's, mm -hmm. we're, we're trying, we're, again, we're not trying to patronize you or anything. We're not trying to tell you what to do. We're concerned um, because we've been through no, this we're before just having with others. That. And it's, okay. it's just, and it's just easier to nip this in the bud at your young age than to wait a long time until you're 18 or whatever the case, you know, because by then you might have done damage to you, yourself, to others yeah. that you can't repair. Now is the good time to repair it because... There's a reason they don't let you drink till you're 21 because your brain isn't fully developed until then. Right. And so if you start drinking before, you're 10 times more likely to get addicted than because it's going to be in your growing genes instead of your fully grown. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. I don't know. Like, that's the thing. So, again, going forward from here, 
if we're all kind of up to date and everything like that, I think it's a good time to, uh, I'm not telling you to leave, you know, feel free to listen to the rest of this and, and enjoy it. Uh, but understand why people can't. Yeah. Understand that here. people aren't, aren't. You're welcome to watch in silence. And I just hope that you can find the help. help. Yeah. Anyway, hallelujah. Okay, Daphne just said you can address it, move on. And if anyone here wants to give chances or accept this or forgiveness, etc., that's on them. Everyone here can choose for themselves. Block, don't block, whatever. I like that. Self care first, so said this, but I wish you the best, and I hope you get help that can actually help you. That's what you can do if you want to show, like, do everything you can to get help. That would be good. And it's not just for us, it's for you. You need help. This isn't... You're hurting yourself as well. You don't... Nobody deserves that. Graphic, sensitive, repetitive topics are brought up by anyone, though. That's reason enough to be timed out or blocked. That's fair warning. I agree. Mental health services won't accept me because they're bad. What is that? I don't understand that. Just go to the ER and check yourself in. And they can put you wherever they think you need to be. Tell them what you're doing. can say if you guys want to tell the people that don't know what's going on. There's a lot of them. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath. Yep. Then you need to call the police. Well, do they just start you on meds? Because they do take a while to start working. And so maybe... Okay. Stick with it, Molly. Okay? Stick with it. He fixed uh, it to gonna, Tino's pepperoni. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add just one last thing here, okay? And then, then we'll move on because this will be done. Um, and Molly, this is just for you. Is it okay if I tell her why it hurt me? She knows. I sh I'm sure she knows. Baby, if you need to get some shit out here, that's your call. But that's what I'm you're, trying you're, to say. You're, you're, churning the, you're churning it up more than it. I just want her to, to know be. why it hurt me so bad and why it triggered you know, me so but, bad. Okay, go. Go ahead. Don't interrupt. I'm sorry. You can if you want. If you feel you need to, but I don't think it's going to help the situation right now. She knows what happened to me. She knows, and that's why this happened. That's what I want to know. Is this like a personal jab at what I went through? Move my hands first. Okay, what did you want to say? I'll shut up. Where'd you go? I, I just won't let that come. Let's go ahead.
Guys, this is me being incredibly real here. I see it. And Molly, this is kind of toward you, but it can go for anybody. This is meant for you, Molly, but it's for everybody. It can't be for everybody. Every single one of us is capable, 100% capable of saving yourself in this life. I truly, truly believe that 2020, 2020, right now, best year of all time. There are so many excuses, rationalities, uh, mentalities, distractions that we could all play the super best victimized character ever. We could. I could. This, 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 this happened to me today. I feel like crap. I'm going to let the world know about it. Good idea, Fiona. And, it, and that's just a sad truth about this right now. Um, and I think... And not, I think, I totally 100% believe that everyone is capable of saving yourself from that. If, if the authorities can't help you, if meds can't help you, if, if all of these things that we have set up and rely on aren't helping you or anything like that. Let Danny talk, guys. Just believe me. Let you, talk a minute. you can fix that. In here and in here. You can fix that. It just takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication. It takes a lot of mental and physical and spiritual yeah. energy, mm -hmm. but it can happen. You, all of you, are totally capable of saving yourselves from whatever situation you might be in. You may not feel it because the view, the world views and, and all of this stuff that's yeah. coming in and out of our brain. But guys, I promise you, you can. And look, I'm going to get real crazy here, okay? You ready for this? Guys, I 100% believe that there is a God. Okay, He's real. He's in this life. And He is there for you guys. Okay, he's there for you guys. He's there for all of us. I'm, if you believe in that or not, I'm telling you I believe in that. And if I believe in that, it's okay for you to believe in that. If you don't believe in that terminology or whatever, that's fine. Believe in something. And if nothing else, if nothing else, believe this. Well, just believe in yourself. You're here. You've made it this far. You've made it this far. Yeah, you can do it. There is no other reason to stop besides this here and this here. This is the only thing that stops you from doing anything. There was just this, there was a video the other day that I kind of watched, and I should have watched it all, but the guy was just ranting about how it's your fault. It is your fault for where you are right now. Granted, he says fault. I don't really like that word because it, it's, it's a, it's a... Uh, what, fault? Yeah, like, yeah. like... Hey, you're stupid, it's your fault that you're here. Where where I would probably say that um, it's your responsibility that you're here. All of the choices in your life are your choices. Granted, there are external things that can pull you one way or pull you the other way, and that some of it might feel out of control. But at the end of the day, it's your call. It's your call up here, it's your call in here. your call you can fix it you said she's tried everything you haven't tried everything then yeah because something would have worked by now if you've tried everything yeah maybe you need to find a doctor, different doctor different look, hospital look deeper yeah look wider how long did it take me to find a doctor 
years. actually understood my body. Years. It took about 10 years to find one. Yeah, and it sucked. It was 10 years of suck. But we found one, and it's worked. But even before then, I guarantee you that Shani before then felt it was right in here to keep going, to keep figuring this out, mm -hmm. to take it day by day. Guys, do not get caught in the web and, and lie that you have to live for the entire next year. You have to think and plan it all out. That is not how it's supposed to work. You cannot handle that. Hell, I can't handle that. You live and you think and you plan for right now. That is all any of us can do. Especially these days. Oh my gosh, these days. <laughs> You know, right? What a crappy year. You just, you just <sighs> have to look inside yourself deep. Yeah, Stephanie. And, and figure it out. Stephanie said, Molly, sometimes when we seek help, it feels worse before it gets better. If you stick with it, you can and will get better. Oh, absolutely. And I'm, and he's any, seen that. Any Stanley. type of, any type of therapy, mental, yeah. physical, anything, it will always feel 100% worse until it gets better. Because that's what has to happen. You have to rebuild it. You have to redesign yourself. You have to retrain yourself to think differently. You cannot, Molly, this is for you specifically, you can't think like this anymore. It will lead you down one path. And you know what that is, and we all know what we're talking about here, okay? This kind of type of thinking will lead you down one path. There's only one, and you don't wanna do that. Nobody wants to do that because it's just not good. You, it, it, it's just never good here, okay? You have to start retraining and refiguring out for a different path. Start right now and go a different way. And it's gonna suck. It's gonna suck. Maybe for a week, maybe for a month, maybe for a year, maybe for 300 years. It's gonna suck. But I promise you guys, it will get better. It will get better and you will be able to move on and we will all be able to move on. Hmm. You make the choice right now and yeah. you set yourself up for the choice for the next one. Holly freaking Luya. Okay, that's it. Bless you all, get out of here. Does it get better or do we just get used to it? That's actually a good question. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. That's exactly what I mean. We all get used to that, yeah. to what, to what's ailing us. And we, again, I'm like, not, look at me I'm not, my call, body. yeah, I'm not calling I'm just... out, I'm not calling out anything, but I'm going to just use a word here. And if it triggers you, I'm sorry, but the word that I want to use, cause <laughs> I want I want it to sting a little bit is we are all capable. Again, I'm going back to what I said earlier. We are all capable of playing the best version of a victim that we can that we're capable of we're all we're all very capable of that okay we are all super capable of succumbing to the environment around us because people this is awesome humans are so cool because we adapt to whatever situation okay think of homeless people they are so adaptive to what they are they don't have a home they don't have a job they don't have a phone they have money they have food but they still live they still go on. Humans adapt to any circumstance. Why do people live up in freaking Antarctica where it's 36 degrees below zero? Why do people live there? I don't know, but they've adapted. Really? Oh, yeah. 30 below zero? Oh, yeah, on the good days. And it's like 30 How days of possible? night up there because of the way the sun goes. How is that possible? They've adapted. Wow. Eskimos and stuff live hmm. up there all the time. People live, people live in the coolest... In, in such extreme environments that we adapt. Guys, we adapt to our environment, okay? If our environment, and this comes back to the thing that you can control, our, if our environment is constant uh, 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 destructive and, and yelling and abuse and all that stuff like that, it's going to affect you and you adapt and you get used to that thing. But I promise you, you can get out of that. People don't live in Antarctica, silly goose, but I understand what you mean. What you know what I mean? Antarctica or freaking uh, uh, 
wherever the Eskimos live. I can't remember. I'm sorry, but you're right. Not Antarctica, because that's people will actually die there. <laughs> anyway, um, penguin zoo. See, there you go. Penguins can adapt. Anyway, my point is, um, we are very susceptible to our environments, but I, you can get out of that environment. You can get out of that because, Aww. because, because we're people. Alaska, Alaska thank you. That's what I'm thinking. Thank you, Paul. Does Alaska. it get that cold in Alaska, though? Oh, yeah. It's very cold in Alaska. TC said, I love you, Danny. Aw, thanks. I love Daphne you, buddy. said, Danny, was, Danny wasn't meant to have the job he does. That's a hot... That's a hobby. He should be a motivational speaker or counselor. I honestly hate this because it's taken a lot out of me and I'm going to go does. crash He's now right. after this. Anyway, um, go for it, Tiffany. I don't care. There, this is for everybody. Um, pirates live in Antarctica, whale hunters. Yeah, so pirates. Don't be a pirate. <laughs> or be a pirate. I don't care. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Because uh, we got Thanks, obviously Steph. totally screwed up by Antarctica. I understand. Um... Again, guys, while environmental stuff can have a very sharp impact on our lives, that does not define you. And you always have the ability to change. Remove yourself from those situations. Oh, but I'm 14. Dude, you're 14. Go hang out with friends all day until you have to be in that environment and stick it out until you can go be with your cool friends again. Mm -hmm. Or get out of that environment and say, hey, look, the environment that I'm in is dangerous to me, and here are the reasons why. This is what I've done. This is what I want to do. Somebody help. They will come out and help you, okay? It might not be in the way that you want. Realize that. It might not be, you know, oh, man, my financial situation sucks. Somebody just give me money, you know? No, it doesn't work like that. Believe me, I know. I've been there a hundred times. It just doesn't work like that. It works very differently. Oh, hey, I'm going to teach you how to be better with your money. Oh, man, that's going to take work and time and understanding and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, because that's how it works. If someone just gives you money, you're going to end up in the same bloody hole again. I know. I've been there a hundred times. Trust me. And it's the same with any situation. Well, I said I have no friends. Everyone at my school thinks I'm weird. Then be weird, dude. Be you. Be you. I guarantee Screw you them. other weirdos will come out of the woodwork and you yeah. will gain friends. It doesn't mean you have to hurt yourself. Yeah. Like, just focus on yourself. And again, and your fine. And Don't goals. rely on friends. Rely on yourself. That's yeah. the whole point of this. Mm -hmm. Rely on yourself. If you're weird, then be weird. I'm weird. Yeah. You want to talk weird? You want to see my shop weird. downstairs? It's full of toys and, and costumes that I walk around in and make people smile. That's weird, all right? I work in the film industry for hell's sake. That's freaking weird, all right? Guys, it's you're, it, weird is nothing new, okay? Weird has been around since the word began. Weird is just something that you put on yourself, all right? I believe in you guys. Me too. And this community is such badass and so cool. So many supportive things can go on here. Mm -hmm. Okay. But there are limits to what we can take and what we cannot take. Mm -hmm. And that's just the way it is. Everyone makes fun of me because I'm autistic. Let them make fun. It's just a miss. They just don't understand. I'm sorry they're doing that. That's yeah, very no, that, that does that suck. That really does suck. Yeah. Uh, don't get me wrong. That it's does suck. Okay. But again, within you, you have the ability to say, I don't care what they say. I don't care how much fun they Look make Look at Tiffany's me. song that we just listened to. Yeah. Like, I don't fit the mold, but I don't really care. Is... There's no mold. Yeah. There's no mold. Usually not. Okay. There's no book. Right. If people are making fun of you, they're not your true friends. Yeah. Right. Hell yeah. Exactly. My son is high-functioning autistic. He struggles, but he is making it. There you go. We all have our crosses to bear, and you just got to... You keep going. If you, you just got to make a choice. Do I want to try and better myself or do I want to keep going down this dark road and it's going to end very soon and very badly? It's up to you. Yeah. Some people treat you as no excuse for how you treat others. You just got to have a lot of self-realization here. 
You're super young. It sucks that you're so young. But there's stuff you can do. Talk to a school counselor. And if that doesn't work, talk to a church leader. If that doesn't work, talk to a friend. If you have any friends, parents, or call CPS yourself. If none of that works, call yourself and say, my family is not willing to take care of me and I'm crazy. Not that you're crazy. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm going crazy and I'm doing things that are dangerous and um, I need help and they won't give it to me. CPS is Child Protective Services. So just Google it for the number in your area. So just Google Child Protective Services. You can even make it anonymous um, or you can just tell them that it's about you, but you can call and you can say, listen, I'm concerned about either myself or my friend. Her name is this, she lives here, this is her address, can you please do a check? And the CPS people will come to your house and talk to your parents and talk to you and do a check, do like a home check. And um, that's like your biggest chance right there. Don't miss this chance, you're only gonna get it once. It is your chance when they take you in a different room and ask you what's been going on, that is your time to be completely, totally, totally honest. Other, because again, you're not going to get another chance. So, um, you tell them when they separate you to ask you questions when they come, you tell them exactly what's going on with you and that your parents aren't helping you and they will, um, they will, they will help you. You have to be honest and you have to be completely, completely social services. Yeah, that's, yeah, you can call them too, whatever. Ooh, creep. Oh, that's, uh, that's a request. Two songs. One, we're gonna do, I'm done. We're going to do one song. One, I'm done. <laughs> you guys aside. Okay, okay, we're going to move on from this, okay? We've, that's good, we've, Molly. We've thrown it up for this and just keep it strong, guys. Okay. <sighs> Let's breathe one more time. Everybody breathe with me. And oh, us. Danny wants to do is eat pizza. He oh, likes it it's, cold anyway. It's totally cold right now. He, but he <laughs> likes it that way. He doesn't, like, you'll warm up no, a bowl care. of soup and let it sit out for like an hour and yeah, then you eat it cold, but you I like it I like just, that. I just don't care. Let's breathe, guys. Ready? Everybody up to your nose. Make it hurt in your lungs. <laughs> Fill it up and then blow it out. <sighs> <laughs> 33 years old, Woo! I talk to fictional characters and they're real people to me. That's weird, but whatever. Exactly. You, be, you find your happiness, you know, but just as long as you're just treating people kindly and especially treating yourself kindly. And we're, no one's act, asking for perfection. Just try. Keep trying until you find the proper help, until you get better. Don't ever uh -huh. stop trying. Hey guys, decide, okay. creep or hallelujah? Creep or hallelujah? <sighs> Today's session has been brought to you by Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper, please give us free stuff. We gotta try. Uh oh. Oh, oh, what? oh dear. Oh, that's dear. a lot of creep hallelujah. <laughs> Well, okay. We're just doing the normal words. Which one? Is that the one you play on usually for creep? Oh, no, no. I got this. Ugh. Everyone wants creep. You got it. What are the actual words? I should, I'm going to look up the actual words. You can't Very see curious. the actual words. <laughs> Why? I can't see them? No, because... Why? You'll see. They're right there. We've done it before, remember? Yeah, but... but. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like, you, like, like, you don't want to say that. Oh, well I can... Yeah. It's fine. You, you, I'll cover you it. You edit it. I know what I do.
dang, that was good when you hit that. Do I freaking know if you're... That was great. Me too. Not oh, mine's easy. No, oh, you're real good. Okay, we're going to go finally. We are going to go. <laughs> I need another pizza. I love you guys. And hang in there. Not literally. I'll see you tomorrow for something. I love you very much. And remember forever and always that you're beautiful. You are worth it. Don't give up the fight. And I am too. Love you guys. Bye.